of Rogue Mage mirrors against ABC, going even with them in terms of mirror, but now surprise effect. Ratapai known for his Discipline Priest, breaks out the Druid, knocks Plot Twist out of contention for claiming a fourth place spot, and is looking solid overall. And now I'm curious to see how they fare head to head against Change My Mind, because Change My Mind has put all of their focus into this composition, the Rogue Mage Druid. Let's see if that time invested is worth it. Yeah, we'll have to definitely see what Ratapai can get done against Benpoike. On paper, you'd have to give this advantage to change my mind. They've been so consistent with this Rogue Mage Druid setup. A lot of synergy, but we know for Surprise Effect, this is the only composition that they run, so there's not another option for them. They have to go head-to-head -head here. We'll have to see. Fried Kitty taking a little bit of pressure early on. There's a nice Cyclone coming in from Mpoika on the Trinket of Soqueen. Bash on to Ratapai. The crowd control is continuing. Interrupts flying in, blind on a Ratapai, heat trinkets out, Mipoike interrupted, Fried Kitty could be in a little bit of trouble as burst damage comes in, uh, flying in on a Fried Kitty. That gets denied by the Iron Bark of Mipoike. In the meantime, Rapture seems to be the target of choice for Change My Mind. Yep, target decision is different once again between these two teams. Rapture, the main focus for Change My Mind. Fried Kitty, the main focus for Surprise Effect. Currently falling behind, could be an Ice Block forced. Huge damage, tons of pressure. First Ice Block in favor of Surprise Effect. Suddenly he comes out of it early, Fried Kitty gets bursted. Barely stays alive. Close call. In the uh -oh. meantime, change my mind, change targets. They're gunning down Ratapai. Looking for an early kill onto him. Players Maldit gets shadow melded by Ratapai. Nice play. Avoiding that healing absorption effect and allowing himself to stay alive. Clutch moves there. Stay in it. Yeah, Ratapai charges forward. Looking for crowd control on him and Poike. Bash potentially into a cyclone. Manages to nice. find it. Now Fry Kitty could be in some trouble. Still on hype. Ratcher. Ratcher. Ratcher in the meantime into a kidney shot. Cheap shot now into Ratapai. Growth silence. Acro basically getting crowd control on all three members of Surprise Effect off the back of that re-stealth. Very nicely done. Now Ratcher cycloned at half HP. Ratapai should be able to keep him alive unless when Poiki can move in and get some crowd control onto Ratapai. Doesn't look like he's able to just yet. Everyone is healthy right now except Ratcher. Still has to be caught up oh. by Ratapai, but the crowd control chain is not over. Ratapai into a full ring of frost with no trinket available. What is Ratcher going to do? Preemptively pops the evasion, but if he gets caught into a stun, he's not going to be able to use the Cloak of Shadows. In the meantime, Fried Kitty under fire. Under fire, Minpoike locked out of the fight for an extended period of time. Evan Bolt connects with the flurry combo together to try and force the second ice block. They net it. Surprise effect have a huge lead. There's one opening to kill Ratchet, but this crowd control is still not ending. Minpoike locked into three Cyclones, potentially off Polymorph DR here shortly if Soqueen can sneak it in. Surprise effect looks solid. Ratapai predicts the attack on himself, realizing that his team is so far ahead, it, they have to kill him, so he pre-bears. Fried Kitty gets locked in the bomb, and tons of pressure follows suit, and surprise effect. Woo! We're gonna take game one. Fried Kitty blinks to safety, barely getting that Iron Bark in time to start to stabilize. He's not even going up in health with the Iron Bark activated. Acro has to kill Ratapai. It's do or die. Race against the clock. Surprise effect have a massive lead. They definitely do. And leaving Soap Queen alone is not what you want to do. Ratapai into a kidney shot. Fried Kitty now into a kidney shot as well. Ratchet gets caught to the blind. Soap Queen closes out the game. Surprise effect. Pure domination over Change My Mind in game number one. Surprise effects is going to be another 3 0. Looking to get on match point here is Ratapai, Ratcher, and Soap Queen. This is an exciting way to wrap up the European Cup number six, day one between Surprise Effect and Change My Mind. Ratapai's skills on Restoration Druid have definitely leveled up as they look to claim victory against Change My Mind. Unfortunately for them, unlikely that they will be able to establish a qualification on points, but they at least set themselves up with morale boost moving into the summer season if they can take out some of the top dogs in the tournament today. So Queen trying to shadow melt some incoming Gladiators Maledix. Fried Kitty also the target. We do see some target adaptation between both teams now racing each other's mages. Yeah, and I think that was one of the mistakes we saw from Change My Mind in the game number one. Allowing So Queen way too much freedom to build up damage with the Frostbolt. We saw him single handedly close out the game with a huge Ebon Bolt on a Fried Kitty. And if he had been caught into a kidney shot, that may have been avoided completely. Right now, Minpoike triggering out of the blind. Ratapai as well. So both the Restoration Druids are very vulnerable. Ratapai caught into a full kidney shot. They're going all in. They might be able to take him down. What is Ratapai going to do? Safeguard procs. Barskin's used, but the Growth Silence still looking to close out the game. Changed my mind with a beautiful all-in ties up this series. Timber. Changed my mind. Trinket out with a big swap. Or if you get his trinket out with the blind, you're able to swap to him. And that's really what uh, kind of creates all of the momentum uh, in this matchup. 
All right, well, Ratapai already gave the folks over on ABC some peace of mind, some tranquility. They know that they're going to make it to <laughs> land, but will he be able to make another upset here against Change My Mind? Are we starting to see this squad fire on all cylinders? Ratapai into a blind. What is he going to do? Opting to sit through it just now. Will he get punished? You can see Acro committing his vanish, looking for a sap. What is Ratapai going to do? He trinkets out of the sap, so ultimately... No, that's Whoa. a disaster. So Ratapai holds on to his trinket for the sap, but oh, So Queen had to trade out his ice block as well. This has put Surprise Effect way behind. It's Ratapai had to trinket out anyways. I think Ratapai is going to die within the next minute or so after that choke. He's got no defense. So Queen's a vulnerability. When there's two targets in trouble, you have such a tough decision to make. If they go all in on Ratapai here, it could just close the match. Rats are able to stall the damage out for a couple of extra seconds, buying Ratapai some time to breathe. Those Ladders Maledicts are incoming. Managed to removing them and now getting out of line of sight. Good defense by Ratchet, but then Ratapai gets caught in a polymorph. Now an opening to kill So Queen and change my mind, have complete control of game number three. Yeah, Ratapai in a polymorph gets out of it. He needs to keep So Queen alive, but a beautiful cyclone coming in from Mpoike denies that incoming healing. Ratapai luckily didn't use his iron bark, so there's still an opportunity to use that defensive if he really needs to. Mpoike in a position to look for more crowd control, unable to find it. Potentially surprised the fact they could go for an all-in attempt on him in Poike as well. Mm. He doesn't have his trinket, so Queen still has his icy veins. Ratcher still has Vendetta, so if they can get one clean setup on him in Poike. Could easily see surprise effect blowing him out of the water. Yeah, both teams' restoration druids in trouble, but likely in Poike to be the target over Fried Kitty as they're already behind on ice blocks. Instead, they swap to Acro, trying to catch him off guard with a smoke bomb play. But Ratcher gets Polly away, not able to connect on target. But that Gladiator's Maledict is absorbing all the heal over time effects. Acro shadow steps out desperately to try and reconnect with Minpoike, break up the chain, and now change my mind, take control of the game. Polymer flocking Ratapai down, So Queen gets bursted, the Polymer chain gets broken up, Ratapai able to now connect some heals, but now into a bash, Minpoike in position, potentially for a Cyclone. Acro, though, in trouble, he's trying to crowd control and keep the team up at the same time, not able to find the Cyclone, instead now cycloning Ratcher to stall out this for Acro to find time to breathe. Mana is even at this point, still a slight lead, having that one ice block force, Ratapai blinded up, they swap to Ratcher, Maybe it would have been better to go after So Queen. Regardless, they get the Gliders Medallion from Ratapai. They can now switch to him with Vendetta moving forward. Yeah, they need to be waiting for the triple Gladiator Maledict all in onto Ratapai in order to take him down. So, change my mind. They just need one clean setup. Minpoike still a vulnerability. He's caught into a bash. Ratapai looking for crowd control. So Queen manages to find the full Ring of Frost. And now, what are they going to do? And Poike, that crowd control breaks. Acro should be fine off the back of that evasion and vendetta. Kidney shot on Ratapai. They're looking for an all in once again. Do they have the damage? So Queen caught into a cyclone. Acro, unfortunately, doesn't have the damage. Oh, Lance Ratapai, very vulnerable. Uses the iron bark, but I think changed my mind. They have enough damage to take him down going up in the series two to one. Change my mind's crack the code. They know how to take down. That puts him behind on So Queen. It just creates a lot of opportunity for Change My Mind in this matchup. This could be hook, line, and sinker for surprise effect. They could be sent home right here, right now. All right, Change My Mind's leveling up here. They've got a third place finish moving forward to the spring finals. They'll have a bit of time in between now and then to either diversify their composition roster or just continue mastering the ones that they've got. Acro getting sapped early on is a bit devastating here for Change My Mind. A surprise effect initiate a great chain of crowd control into all three members. Acro exchanges his entire higher defensive lineup just to stay alive throughout that initial assault. The crowd control looks relentless. Ratapai's trying to sit through a blind sap. We saw him try and do this in the last game. He got punished on it. He's trying to do it again. Will he be punished once again is the question. Ratapai continues to get crowd controlled. Ratcher denies the kill, drops a smoke bomb, looks to reverse on the acro. Blind on him in Poike. He decides to use the guy's medallion, realizing Acro traded so much early on, but suddenly Ratcher is behind due to Ratapai's reluctance to trinket out of that blind. He will now be able to survive a swap onto himself, whereas Minpoike may not. So let's see if Surprise Effect decide to make that switch. They've got pressure on two targets with two Gliders medallions out of the way, and Surprise Effect should have momentum because of this. Yeah, nice attempt on him in Poike. Caught into a kidney shot. Do they have any more damage? So Queen with the icy veins, looking to get really aggressive, but a beautiful ring of 
across from Fry Kitty. Denies a lot of it, but Ben Poike is still not out of the woods yet. We shot him Has the Iron Bark available, has to trade it out. Now Ben Poike just so vulnerable. No Gladiator safeguard, no Bark, oh. no Iron Bark, no Trinket. Gets interrupted. He just can't top himself off, Sid. It's a race to the finish to gun down for Ben Poike. Surprise effect, have huge momentum off the back of that perfect crowd control. And Ben Poike's in trouble. He's all alone in center field. Will he have the backup? He needs to stay alive. Acro peels away Ratcher. Ben Poike is looking for a Cyclone at half health in front of their face. He manages to get it. He stays alive and stays in the fight. Now jumping in for crowd control onto Ratapai. Switching that Cyclone over. Polymorph instead. Who are they going to go after as the target? It looks like they want to go after So Queen as he's already expended one ice block. It could be an opportunity. Surprise effect. We're banking on killing Minpoike during that push. And because they have it now, they're behind. Oh, so Queen using his second ice block. Both mages traded out one of their earlier ice blocks as basically an additional PvP trinket to get out of crowd control. And now, because of that, So Queen, he doesn't have another ice block available for four minutes. Big opportunity here for Change My Mind in this matchup. Bash on Minpoike, Ratify looking for a hibernate, potentially looking for a Cyclone as well. Doesn't manage to find it. Beautiful backup by Fried Kitty, landing a clutch counter spell onto Ratify, denying the crowd control. And now So Queen in a lot of trouble. Yep, caught into a kidney shot. Any crowd control on Ratify could close this out. He'll be pressured to use Lyre's Medallion on blind now because So Queen has no ice blocks remaining. Pressure is still building. Change My Mind on match point. There's the blind. Ratify cannot afford to hold on to his Lyre's Medallion, whereas Minpoike does have that opportunity opportunity to sit on it, which means that now Ratapai could be swapped to by Change My Mind. He needs to be ready for it. He's been gunned down two games. Fried Kitty gets bursted, potentially a nice block when Poike opted to trade that Gliders Medallion a little bit late. Now both teams' Druids could be vulnerable moving forward on hook point in such close quarters. It looks like Fried Kitty's going for cog control instead, blinking back behind out of line of sight, getting a polymorph. Acro able, though, to now vanish away, try and get on target. So Queen gets silenced. Where's the kidney oh, shot? It looks like So Queen likely Gliders medallioned out of it earlier. Cycloned at low health by Minpoike. Slight mana lead for Change My Mind, but I don't think mana is necessarily going to be the main win condition for either team at this point. Still an ice block lead. It's basically, for the surprise effect, they have to kill Minpoike or nothing, I think, for them at this point. And they're on match point. Yeah, he seems to be the only vulnerable target get for so queen he's just so vulnerable for surprise effect ratify trades out his iron bark after that there's really nothing left icy veins gets used by fried kitty looking to get hyper aggressive here in this matchup on the so queen where is the damage full kitty shot from rapture on a fried kitty drops a smoke bomb as well big burst damage trading out his ice block now both mages are in similar situations where we don't see ice blocks for at least three minutes. Fried Kitty's still low. If they can continue the pressure, Surprise Effect could tie up the series. This game is going down to the wire, completely evened out here on game number four. They make a swap to Ratapai, trying to burst him down. Are they going to go for the Gladiator's Maledix? Fried Kitty activates his. They need more afterwards if Ratapai is able to dispel. Ben Poike's Gladiator's Maledix goes in. Can they spell steal off that Gladiator's Safeguard? Ratapai holding on uh -oh. by a thread, but I don't think he's going to be able to make it. Ironburg on 1%. Is is he going to be able to make it out alive? He bashes up Acro at 1%. Barely, barely catching a couple of heals. Cyclone at low health. There's there is 0% chance you make it out of this Ratapai. What, what are you going to do? Acro gets Frost Nova, but Ratapai sneaks out of range in the kidney shot. Bear form. Fried Kitty blinks in to close it out. And Poike tries to get a Star Surge. Ratapai sneaks out of line of sight, holding on to whatever little bit of health that he's got left for his team on match point. What? What is Ratapai going to do? How did he manage to survive? Beautiful peels coming in from his team to keep him alive. That Frost Nova on the Acro really saved the day. Now Kitty Shot on the Acro, and Surprise Effect is looking to reverse the pressure. Ratapai traded out so many of his defensives, now caught into a full blind. Ratcher, though, is able to just easily vanish off, and he should be able to survive. Acro using his vanish as well, extending the crowd control chain onto Ratapai with a beautiful sap. Now Ratcher's just in so much trouble. I don't think evasion's going to be enough. Bash onto Ratapai, change my mind. Pure domination in the last three games. And the surprise effect's going to be knocked out of this tournament. Change my mind. Of three in the books, you can see the teams that are still left standing in the EU for the final cup. Method Black, Wildcard Gaming, going to go head-to-head -head on Sunday. One of them goes to the grand final. The up feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history. The longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth. 